Hello everyone, this is Atreya and welcome to our channel CodeChap. Today we are going to be solving the problem football match which has a difficulty level of cakewalk and there are no prerequisites. So as usual, let's get started. Here it's given that we are given a score log of a football match between two teams. Every time one of the teams scores a goal, the name of that team was written in the score log on a separate line. And at the end of the match, the team that scored strictly more goals than the other team wins the match. If they both scored an equal number of goals, the game ends in a tie. We need to find out the winning team or a tie. So let me give you an example here. Let's say that two teams are playing, team A and team B. So in the score log, if you have something like this, it means that team A scored twice and team B scored once. So the final score is something like this. In a football match, team A scored twice and team B scored once. So in this particular case, team A won. Why team A won? Because they have strictly greater number of goals than team B, like in a normal football match. So this is the main crux of the problem. We need to count. We are, the football match is played between two teams. So we need to find out those two counts. Here, count of A, count of A is nothing but 2. Count of A is 2 and count of B is 1. We need to find out these counts and then we need to check which is greater. That will determine who wins. Who, who wins who wins the match that will be determined the who wins the match it will be determined by counting the individual scores and finding out which is greater for example now there was something else like a a b b here the scores are tied why the scores are tied because the count of a is two count of b is two so this means that that match was tied because both of the teams scored an equal number of goals so the only way to determine the winner is if one team scores strictly greater than the other team that's what is written here so if one team strictly is greater than the other team, then that team wins. Let's look at a few sample cases. Here, there are two sample cases. Now, this is the number of entries in the score log. This is the number of test cases. This is the number of entries in the score log, in the log. Now, look at these four entries. The, t the match is played between teams A, B and B, C. Now, team A, B scored one goal, two goals. Team BC also scored two goals. Look at this. This is a tie now. Why this is a tie? Because the count of AB is nothing but two and the count of BC is also two, which means that this game was a tie. This game was a tie. Let's look at the next test case. Th these are the number of entries in the log. Number of log entries. Now in this game, it is played between XXX and YYY. Let's look at how many score goals does this team score versus this team. Now, XXX scores one goal here. Count of XXX is one. So, YYY is twice. So, this means that team YYY wins because it scores strictly greater goals. So, if you see a football match and you see a score one, two, it means that the team that scored two goals wins, right? So, this team wins. If you have a particular entry here of a particular team in the score log, it means that that team has scored a goal. This means that team YYY has scored two goals versus team XXX. So what will be our approach? Our approach will be very simple. We will just see the counts of both teams. We will see the counts of both teams. So what will the count signify? The count signify the number of goals scored. The number of goals scored. Then at the end, we will compare. Suppose I have a team C1 and a team C2. I have the count of how many goals this team scored and I also have the count of how many goals this team scored. Then I will check. If C1 is greater than C2, the count of the goals scored by this team is greater than the count of goals scored by this team. It means that team C1 wins. If it's lesser, if, if the team C1 scores lesser number of goals than C2, it means that C2 wins. If they are both equal, the counts of both goals scored by both teams are equal, then it means that it is a tie. It's a very simple problem that just requires you to compute the count and do some preliminary, do some computation on that. Once we get the counts of the number of goals scored by both the teams, we just have to do comparisons. We need to check which is greater. If the first team's go uh, goals are greater, then the first team won. If the first team goals are lesser, then the second team won. Uh, or if they're equal, it's a tie. Hope this is Now let's look at the code of the approach that we have just discussed. Here, mainly we need to find out the number of goals that team one scored and the number of goals that team two scored and compare. We need to check if the goal scored by team one is greater than team two, then team one one if the number of goals scored by team two is greater than number of goals scored by team one team two wins otherwise it's a draw if the both goals are equal 
So we do this here by first input the scores array. The scores array is a string array that keeps track of the score log. For example, if you have xxx, yyy, xxx, it stores these strings here that you have here. Then I am taking stream one to be the first element of my scores array. Remember, I need to find out the strings because the output in this particular problem is the name of the team or the string name of the team who won. So I need to know which is team one and which is team two. I take scores of zero to be team one. And now you might ask why not initialize team two here itself to scores of one. This will not work because let's say my score log is something like this. Let me just write it like this. Let's say my array is uh, this here. Now this is my array for example. We know that XXX is the team who wins because it scored two goals while its competitor scored only one goal. So the uh, score is 2-1 in favor of XXX. Now if I have here instead of uh, like uh, finding out later, if I have scores of 1 here, if I assign team 2. If I assign team 2 to be scores of 1, can you find out the mistake here? If I assign team 2 to be scores of 1, if I have the same team scoring 2 goals and I have the second element to be the same as the first element, this will break my code. That is why I cannot have team 2 here. So I need to initialize team 2 later in my code. So some people think that uh, what if we take score 0, scores 1. That will not work because scores of 0 is fine. You know you are guaranteed to have some team. Either the first team or the second team, it doesn't matter. But you're guaranteed to have some team name and that team is now uh, allotted to team 1. The team 2 to find out, you just need to do here. What I'm doing is I'm checking. If my scores of i, if my current element what I'm processing, if it's equal to the team 1 string, then increment my score of team 1. Now team 1 score is a variable that I've initialized to keep track of the number of goals scored by team 1. Otherwise, else, what does else mean? Else means that my team 2 score has to be incremented. Because if my scores of i equal to team 1, it means that, for example, in this case, team 1 equal to xxx. If my current element I'm processing equal to xxx, that means I need to increment my team 1 score. Now team 1 score became 1. Again, I see the same string. Now team 1 score became 2. Otherwise, my team 2 score has to be incremented. Team 2 score is now 1. I have the scores. Now also in the else part, I'm initializing this. Now there is one small, uh, you know, uh, modification that you make, uh, you may make in this code. I suggest you to pause a second and find that. In this particular code, in the else condition, this line gets executed every single time it sees team two. So this team two equal to scores of phi is, uh, you know, uh, computed multiple number of times. Every time in the array you see team 2, again it comes out, you see team 2 equal to scores of 5. For example, if my, I'll modify my array, y, 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 y. In this case, the score, oh, sorry, uh, what did I do? Oh, here. And I have three goals scored by y, 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 and two goals scored by x. So in this case, y, y, y wins. But every time I look at y, 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 every time I look at y, 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 this line is executed. We do not need to execute this line multiple number of times because one time we know this is team 2, bus. that's all. We know that our team is team 2. We don't need to reinitialize re team 2 every single time we see yyy. So the, you can make that modification to the code. There's nothing wrong in the code, it's just that this line is executed multiple times while it's not necessary. This line has to be executed because you have to increment the number of goals each time you see yyy. Now this gets incremented once, then again it gets incremented once and so on. So this has to be there. So at the end of this whole for loop, what we get is team one score for this particular array. It becomes two and team two score at the end of this array processing, it becomes three because XXX is twice here and this is thrice here. So we have these counts. Then we compare the counts below. We check is two equal to three. If the team one score equal to team two score, it's a draw. Otherwise, if the first team scores more goals than the second team, the first team wins. So I'm outputting the name of the first team. Otherwise, I'm outputting the name of the second team. This is the crux of the uh, you know problem and I hope you understood. Hey guys, that was it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you haven't yet done this, this is a gentle reminder to hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in competitive programming and data structures, this channel is a one-stop solution for you. See you in the next video. Bye.